this person had asked me a question when will i get a job okay okay and this person was unemployed mm. and the person mm. was asking me why am i not able to get a job uh, so mm. now let us try to analyze so as i said it is a thursday <laughs> you are is written thursday it is after sunrise so it is actually thursday vedic thursday mm. then we see jupiter mm. jupiter is ruling which house 6th house Six. and the 9th house yes mm. there you go job lord <laughs> Mm. The moon trikon, moon trikon is Sagittarius, mm. so it is actually pertaining to job. Mm. Now, uh, job and the ninth house, mm. and then this Jupiter is placed in the fifth house, mm. and uh, it is retrograde. If you see here. <laughs> yes. Mm. Okay, and it is about to go into the Gandanta zone, twenty-nine degrees Scorpio. Okay. Correct. Okay, mm. some major transformation is coming up. <laughs> mm. This this person is kind most probably not aware of most of the cases I have seen. When Gandanta is about to come, you are not aware. That's why it's called Gandanta, of course. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so. Then now we know the agenda and uh, why is it ruling the ninth house? Because the person has been doing masters and is abroad actually. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the ninth house shows higher education. Mm. And now here this Jupiter is placed in trines. It is in the fifth house. Mm. And the trines, as I said, in general, it's a very good placement. Mm. So then. When you know sixth house, then you can check uh, the Karakas like uh, Saturn and Mars where they are. Mm. Here. Saturn is also here in the sixth house and Mars. Okay, not very good. Mm -hmm. But because it is a question related to career, we also need to check the tenth house and we also need to check uh, the Karakas for the tenth house also because it's a career question. Mm. So. Here we see Mercury is placed in the tenth house itself. Fantastic, and Sun is exalted. It is in yes. the tenth house in Big Ball. Very good. Uh, the tenth lord again is Mars. It is in the twelfth. So this can mean either two things: either you are losing your job, <laughs> or going, hmm. or you are going abroad. Okay. Hmm. And uh, therefore, I told him. And if you see the ascendant, ascendant hmm. is Cancer. Is again in twelfth. Hmm. Yeah, it's a movable, movable uh, ascendant. But the hmm. Lagnesh is again in twelfth. You see, so Lagnesh and the tenth is conjunct in the twelfth hmm. house in the Rahu Ketu axis. Hmm. So the person is not only not having a job; he's also confused about which jobs to apply. <laughs> hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And if you see here, Moon is in Gemini. It is in Punar Vasu Nakshatra. Mm -hmm. So what happened was this person did uh, bachelor's in a particular domain, and then he worked in a particular domain mm -hmm. for two years, three years, and then he went abroad for his master's. Mm -hmm. So now uh, he is wondering. This Punar Vasu thing is playing out here. He is wondering if. The job which he applies should be in line with his bachelor's and master's or the work which he did three years. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he's thinking which domain should I go back to? Mm -hmm. Somebody may say that, oh, you have done master, so why not continue that? But if you don't get a job, then because of that three year experience, you might get a job even if the domain is different. Some sometimes it happens like that. Mm -hmm. So now the thing is, uh, this tenth lord is involved, so it is the work you see. So this person is likely to continue the work which he was doing, not his masters. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> that that's something very interesting which we can see here and this guru is aspecting the lagna so this person is very positive mm. and mm -hmm. because, it's a, because it's a chara uh, it's a chara rashi movable sign so you can expect results soon now mm. yeah then i said when mars uh, touches cancer mm. okay which is like mars is in 1 degree of gemini mm -hmm. so shira mrigha shira means mrigha shira is the deer who is going on searching things so he is searching right. and this also means that when mars would have touched this cancer mm -hmm. which is the ascendant or mars would have entered leo then only the job is possible not before that exactly Mm -hmm. and somehow jupiter also has to be associated now you see the problem here is when this mars will go here debilitation jupiter will be crossing up to sagittarius mm -hmm. now suppose jupiter has 1 degree mm -hmm. so if jupiter is going very fast and before mars reaches this uh, cancer which because mars takes 45 days so 1 degree will roughly take 1 1 1/2 2 days so 43 days more for mars to reach cancer <laughs> but suppose before 43 days jupiter goes and aspects this mars because jupiter from 6 will aspect the 12 right and uh, <laughs> in that case then it could happen that the person gets the job but he does not get the offer letter mm -hmm. yeah and then when this mars finally touches cancer he can get mm -hmm. but now mm -hmm. here is the catch actually you see because this mars has gone to debility as the 10th lord so debility means there has to be some kind of a compromise always mm -hmm. so that means in some area of life he has to make some compromise now how do you identify what area that can be well you have to check the houses which also mars rules so mars also rules the fifth house so so it's like saying his education has been totally wasted mm -hmm. because he is ultimately going to work in a sector which is not linked to his master so why why the why the hell did you do the masters if you mm -hmm. to change your line mm -hmm. so now if you don't compromise that and you uh, do if you follow the masters journey then your 10th house which is your earlier job gets wasted mm -hmm. so now these two houses are such that because mars rules both so one of them will go <laughs> mm -hmm. no and jupiter is also sitting which is also the ninth lord so uh, it appears to me that uh, his masters will almost you could say goes it will it will go wasted and he will end up doing something uh, which he uh, which he did during his job 3 years back Mm -hmm. and that is what he did when he got the job he of course now he's trying to merge both <laughs> he's trying to bring things from his masters and then combine from what he got from his job also and because this uh, mars is also the 10th lord so therefore we could say that currently whatever you get you accept it because it is in debility mm -hmm. later on <clears throat> later on uh, now let's take current day scenario currently mars is going to enter uh, capricorn right after yeah. some time. yes uh, so mm -hmm. then now of course this person didn't contact me after that <laughs> mm -hmm. but suppose this person would contact me i would have told him that after two weeks around when mars two weeks or three weeks when mars enters capricorn you can try from a, for a promotion and it's like one year almost you see may and june mm -hmm. around not one year around nine months mm -hmm. so it could happen that that time you could uh, get a promotion after till the time mars stays in capricorn which is for the next two months mm -hmm. 
so this is when if the person would come to me later but this person got the job quite early only okay. in fact this person got the job when jupiter had entered sagittarius and jupiter was in gandanta again that okay. zero degree of sagittarius <laughs> and it was still aspecting mars and as up to my expectation the job the job was not very satisfactory but he said i have family responsibilities mm. so i took it okay. <laughs> the second second lord son is in the 10th house so that is the main concern mm -hmm. now suppose this would be a leo lagna it would have taken a long time mm -hmm. so and apart from that you can always check uh, where saturn is placed because saturn is the karaka for the dasamsa chart that can mm -hmm. show how much labor the person wants to do so saturn is in sixth which is a good placement so he is ready to do full labor mm -hmm. but the only problem is it's in rahu ketu axis so he doesn't know where to labor <laughs> mm -hmm. confusing mm -hmm. basically for him right mm -hmm. and because the lagnesh is involved with this he's is not able to sleep he is under anxiety as i told you in the beginning like right. involved it means you are in anxiety always if mm -hmm. it is badly afflicted right and moon is also mm -hmm. not in a very good sign uh, i mean for mm -hmm. the gemini of course right the only planet which does great in gemini is rahu <laughs> right <laughs> and here if we see uh, the karesh becomes the sixth lord ninth sagittarius and it is uh, in the scorpio as soon as jupiter comes to sixth and makes a connection with lagna the uh, chances of job increases right because karesh and lagnesh is making a sambandh exactly jupiter and moon yeah yeah so this is how you can say uh, now this this was bit easy i would say <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right but uh, this one which i was oh yeah one thing i forgot to show you this is the same chart again i have opened this is again nine you see ah right nine is right. again numerology wise it is mars mars mm -hmm. so mars is again in the 12 again in the enemy sign of mercury in this rahu ketu axis aspected by saturn ah very difficult correct right. Correct, correct. It's a very right. crazy thing which is going on. Mm -hmm. Now, luckily, this Jupiter is well placed, mm -hmm. <laughs> and because it is retrograde, he had to change something. You know, he went to a different domain again, which he was doing during his job. So his masters yeah. kind of, you know, got like not very useful. Right. Okay. So now we go to this chart. <laughs> Or should we open the marriage chart first? Okay, let us open marriage. Okay, twentieth okay. September. <laughs> I think things are <laughs> so. If you follow the standard quotes here, mm. you will see it's Friday. <laughs> <laughs> 